I've been here since 1999. Before here, I was working at my alma mater, which is Seton Hill University in Greensburg. I worked there for a couple of years, and then I worked at Kutztown University in the Philadelphia area. I was there for about three years. And then I saw an opening here. I'm from Pittsburgh, so my family lives there, and my husband's family lives in Greensburg, close to Pittsburgh. So when there was an opening for Teal, I took it. But I was happy at Kutztown. It's not that I wanted to leave there. I enjoyed working with the state system, but I just really thought I would like to go back to a liberal arts institution, and Teal was wonderful. I just really enjoyed my time here. So I've been here since 1999, teaching English mostly, and then I've been in the DHI program. Honestly, my favorite one is the class that I just left, whatever that happens to be. I love all of them, I really do. I have four classes each semester. Um, I don't have any uh, repeats, you know, it's the same. I mean, it's four different classes each semester, and the variety is great, so I can teach British literature, which is my area of specialization. My dissertation is on that area. Uh, so I love that. Anytime I teach it, that's wonderful. It has Chaucer in it, and he's my favorite author of all time, so I love that class. I also like linguistics, which is the study of how we produce speech sounds and the history of the English language, so I love that too. It's a more scientific approach from the literature, but it's different, so I enjoy that. I enjoy teaching poetry because I also like to work with the Phoenix, our creative literary journal, um, so the poetry class lets me do that, and then I like to be in the DHI program teaching the Honors 113, 114, and 126 courses. I really enjoy that. So it honestly was, I was thinking about that question, and it, I could not come up with one that is my favorite. I really like all of them. And what, as I said, whichever one I just left, I think, oh, that was, I just really love those students, so I love those classes. I would like to, I guess I'd like to model myself after Queen Elizabeth II. I just really admire her for, you know, being queen for 70 years. This is my 47th year in teaching. I started when I graduated from Seton Hill in 1975, so I've been doing this for a while. I taught high school for a while in Pittsburgh, and then I taught uh, on the college level for the rest of my time. I want to keep teaching, honestly, until I'm not able to do that anymore. So I really hope 10 years from now that I'm still here in some capacity at Teal. I love it here at Teal. I love the students. I love the faculty and staff. So I'm hoping in some capacity to still be here. I have two things for that. I'm proud of my students. I really am. I'm especially proud of the students who graduate and get successful careers, have families, have their children come back here. I love to see that. That, that change is just wonderful. I'm proud of them when they give speeches and when they've been put through the ringer by me usually, <laughs> giving them a hard time as to how they could improve their writing or their speeches. And then when I see that happen as the semester goes on, I'm really proud of that. So that's a good time for me and graduation day is a day that always makes me proud because then I've seen those students through four years you know so I'm very happy about that the second thing I'm proud of is our steam room um, s-t-e-a-m so we created this last year my honors 114 class I think it was so you know we know what stem is but then we wanted to put the arts into that so over in the library now Tressa and uh, Dr. Nowinski were a big help creating, allowing us to have that space on the second floor, which is a place for people to enjoy art work. They can, they can draw, they can have their own palette if they'd like to do that. They can listen to music, they can have that be a study area. It's so bright. Tressa and the students did a tremendous job fixing up that room. So it's, and it's starting to be used now, which I'm really happy about too. So I'm really proud of that accomplishment because the students who did it are not all students from the humanities or the arts. A lot of them are scientists. So they have that appreciation that it's inserting art into STEM is important, you know? So, yeah. Well, I love historical fiction. Anything like that, I just love to watch mostly. So I, I love Downton Abbey. <laughs> I've watched every episode of that a few times. And I love The Crown. So, I, you know, I've been watching 
repeats of, of those performances, looking forward to the crown finishing. So I like anything having to do with Britain, especially, you know, England, England's history, England's literature. I like anything on PBS that deals with that because I'm teaching it and then I can incorporate that into my classes. So unfortunately, I'm not, I don't spend a lot of time with reading right now if it, on, other than reading for my own classes. And then I like to try to do some book reviews and publish them. So that keeps me busy like during the summers and times like that. When I'm watching TV, I'm, I'm usually attracted to the historical drama or historical fiction.